to Julie Child's French Hot Chocolate <laughs> Clinic. We're here to make hot chocolate. This is my assistant. Her name is Lainey. She knows how to cook. She doesn't know how to speak, apparently. Say <laughs> hello to the people. Hello. Hello. We're going to make, what are we making today, Lainey? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And I am Julia Child. And I am mastering the art of French cooking. That because in, what she's doing. in France, we make everything out of chocolate, which mm -hmm. is very handy because hot chocolate has what in it? Chocolate! Look at the camera there, lady. Chocolate! Chocolate and what makes it hot? Uh, chocolate! Chocolate makes it hot. Well, you can see she's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. All right there, honey. The first thing we have to do is we have to put water in the saucepan. Like the Americans do. When you're in France, you make hot chocolate with milk. But here in Canada, you make it with water. Which, frankly, is a bit of an abomination. However, when in Rome... <laughs> Now, we have to fill the pot. Yeah. Does that look like enough? No. There we are. Now, we're going to put it on the stove. Just like that. Well, we can put it in closer here to my assistant. We have to turn it on to maximum strength. And then, you have to do some very serious work because when you're making hot chocolate, you need special utensils. Mine. You need lots and lots of chocolate. Mm. Because then you're going to drink it all yourself. Because it's very yummy. And for a special Christmas touch, you need the Christmas cups. Santa and snowman. Santa and snowman. Now, lady, yeah. I want you... Pour this in. Oh, these darn Canadian! Oh, I can't handle these Canadians. Put chocolate in the weirdest things. All right, now hold on to that and put it in the cup. That's good chocolate making. All right, now you're all ready there. Finish it up. Hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, very, very good. Okay, now hold on a minute. We have to run another packet here. This is special hazelnut truffle. All right, this is for me. I'd like to have it with a little bit of wine. Okay, now take that and pour it in to there. Most excellent. Now, I'm afraid the boiling water might take too much time for the video, but when you're in France, mostly you just like to eat the chocolate itself because the water just makes it all watery. Don't you think you're giving that a taste? Good. It's good, she says. It's excellent. And here we are. We are mastering the art of French cooking. Yes, we are. Now, the net, yes, we are. Now, the next thing we have to do is vanilla extract. Now, unfortunately, here in Canada, we use artificial vanilla extract. In France, you only use real vanilla extract. But, again, when in Toronto, do as the Torontonians do. Now, we're going to pour a little bit in that one. Good? Tell the people. Good. All right. We have the expert taster here. We're putting that in there. Oh, there we go. Now, as you can see, we're boiling. Almost boiling. Very close. But we can have the implements ready. Yeah, those are mine. Stirring? Yeah. And stirring for me. So... That's yours, and that's mine. And the other thing I want to tell you is that if you're afraid 
that the hot chocolate isn't enough, you get more chocolate. You get more chocolate, and you eat the chocolate, and you take a drink of the hot water, and it's just as good as hot chocolate. So we're going to keep this both handy, just in case. It's gross. Now. When you drink hot here we go. Now, my assistant here, you have to be very careful because this is quite hot. Here we go. Hold on. Where are you going? I'm getting away from you. Okay, there we are. Most excellent. Now, stir that up. Yes. Okay. As you can see, it's all in the wrist. Right? See? All in the wrist. Mm. Stirring it up. And I'm going to stir mine. Now, you think that's all done? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, the <laughs> best. Oh, now hold on a minute. This is for television. Have some decorum. <laughs> Now, here in North America, they have these amazing little things. They're actually big. They're all spongy. They're called marshmallows. And they're all, wait, open your mouth. As you can see, <laughs> they're about the size of a mouth. Maybe, wait, we get it in profile. <laughs> there we are. Now, this is very handy for when your children are talking too much. You can just clam it right in there. And just keep it in there. No. Right? No. What are you doing? Mm. All right, here we go. We're going to put one in yours. Put it in there very carefully. Don't splash it on the edges. Here we have another one. Hey, hey. <laughs> Pay attention here. Mm -hmm. Put this in there. Okay. All right. Very good. It's very hard to get good help. Here in North America, I don't know why they don't teach children earlier to make special hot chocolate. Now, the last thing that we have to do is the most important part of the hot chocolate. In fact, it's the most important part of anything. Whether you're making eggs, or uh, toast, or cantaloupe, or uh, avocado, or artichoke. You have this special whipped cream. Now, can you please take this out of the way because this is this is getting in my way. Thank you very much. Here we have Look at that. Right? And then, if you like Oh no, I wouldn't put it in your face. No, that would be me. What I'm going to do um, <laughs> Here, try it. Mm. Is that good? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Okay. So, mm. here we got one more. Wait a minute. Would you like to fill mine up, please? There you go. Don't be stingy. Spray it. Push it. All right. Mastering the art of French cooking. Push it. Like that. Oh, she's so stingy. No. Nope. There we go. Whatever. All right. Now hold your cup. And smile. And say goodbye to the people. Goodbye.